hello and welcome. This video is designed to give some insight to those of you out there who might have some questions about what a guide dog is and or what a service dog is. What are the similarities and what are the differences? The design of a service dog is that of offering physical assistance to someone in a point of need. A police dog is a service dog for example. Thus the adage, to serve and protect. As the number of recognized disabilities has grown over the past 20 years or so, so has the number of dogs trained to deal with those disabilities. Just to name a few, there are hearing dogs, paraplegia or quadriplegia dogs, police custom sniffing dogs, canine squad dogs, epilepsy dogs and therapy dogs. What you are looking at here is probably the oldest area of public service dogs have achieved next to police service work that of a guide dog. A guide dog is a form of a service dog, but most guide dogs are trained simply to guide. The term, service dog, is a general box term designed to try to place all, or many services into one dog. Because it takes, dogs 4 to 6 months, to learn many of the required tasks in accordance with their service, or longer depending on availability of trainers and the dog's ability to grasp said tasks, service dogs are trained to meet specific needs. For instance, a police canine handler would be very unlikely to use a guide dog as a police dog, or a quadriplegic could most likely not use a police dog as his or her service animal, as the training is different. As time is of the essence and the demand for service dogs is high, great effort is made to ensure that dogs are trained and handed out in accordance with specific needs and requirements. So again, what we are looking at here is a guide dog, often referred to as a seeing eye dog. You can read a list of a guide dog's tasks and abilities as well as some rules of etiquette in this first link, provided here in the video. But, it's one thing to read them, while another thing entirely, to see them in action. So, in an attempt to use the power of your vision to my advantage, I'd like to explore these tasks with you here, now. The first thing you'll notice about all guide dogs is that, they are trained to walk in a straight line without deviation, other than to avoid an obstacle. This task is most important to someone born blind for security purposes, to make sure they don't veer into an obstacle and to make sure that passing pedestrians have a clear path to their own destinations. Next, you will see that guide dogs stop at curbs or steps. They do this in an effort to watch for oncoming traffic and to allow us the opportunity to properly direct them with the information gained from listening. Thirdly, you will see my guide dog veer me around obstacles for both our safety, only to bring me back to that straight line. Lastly, guide dogs are taught to landmark objects. This technique was aptly displayed when you saw my guide dog stop us between the truck and the fence, allowing me to first touch the truck before proceeding. Showing or landmarking is a useful technique for having the dog indicate bus stops, beeping light poles, doors, seats and even objects we drop. Thanks for loving our dogs and hey, thanks for offering us your help cause we sure need it sometimes. No, really, we do. Try to think of us walking around with a furry color blind tourist guide who can't read. We're great in areas we know, but ain't not so hot in places we don't. If you like this video, please feel free to check out my photo biography, where most secrets of blindness will be revealed by clicking on any of these three links. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on YouTube.